Hi, my name is Dina and your co-host, Sivi. For this video, we'll be talking about the structure and how photosynthesis occurs in C4 plants. But first of all, let's have an overview of the video. So in the beginning, we'll briefly going over the structure of C3 leaves, then we'll move over to C4 plants, and lastly, we will discuss the differences between C3 and C4 plants. Structure of the C3 leaves so, we're gonna briefly show you the parts that is now being drawn. So, as we can see in the diagram of the C3 leaves, there is the epidermis, the chloroplast, the mesophyll cells, the bundle sheath cells, the vascular bundle, and lastly, we have the stroma. C4 plants. Now, let's move to our main point of the video. C4 plants. Let's take a look at the structure of the C4 leaves. We have the epidermis, the mesophyll cells, the bundle sheath cells, the vascular bundle, and finally, we have the stroma toward the bottom left of the diagram. If you haven't noticed, the arrangement of the mesophyll cells in the C3 and C4 plants differ from each other. In C3 leaves, mesophyll cells are packed loosely around the bundle sheath cells, whereas in the C4 leaves, mesophyll cells surround the bundle sheath cell tightly. Since C4 photosynthesis are mainly found in tropical plants, the mesophyll cells arrangement is to separate all UBP and the enzyme Rubisco in the bundle sheath cells from high oxygen concentration so that RUBP will react with carbon dioxide instead of oxygen, which will lead to a decrease in the rate of photosynthesis and waste of RUBP. Moving on, we'll be looking at how the process of photosynthesis takes place in the mesophyll cells and bundle sheath cells in the C4 plant. PEP reacts with carbon dioxide with the help of the enzyme PEP carboxylase and forms a 4-carbon molecule called oxaloacetate, which will then be converted into a malate. Malate will then be decarboxylated and turns into a pyruvate of 3C. Meanwhile, the carbon dioxide that has been removed from malate diffuses from the mesophyll cells into the bundle sheath cells, which will be passed to RUBP by Rubisco, where the Calvin cycle starts and sugar is produced. Lastly, the differences between C3 and C4 plant. I'll be representing C3 plant. And I'll be representing C4 plants. In C3 plant, the mesophyll cells are packed loosely throughout the leaf. While in C4 plants, mesophyll cells are wrapped tightly around the vascular bundle in a ring-like form. In C3 plants, photosynthesis occur in mesophyll cells. Whereas in C4 plants, it occurs in both mesophyll and bundle sheath cells. In C3 plants, CO2 molecule acceptor is RUBP. On the other hand, in the C4 plants, CO2 molecule acceptor is PEP, also known as phosphoenolpyruvate. The optimum temperature of C3 plants is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the optimum temperature in C4 plants is 35 to 44 degrees Celsius. There is higher chances of photorespiration in C3 plants. Meanwhile, in C4 plants, photorespiration does not happen at all. The C3 plant's stomata remains open even when they are being exposed to high temperature. Meanwhile, C4 stomata closes to prevent dehydration. In C3 plants, the first stable compound is the 3-phosphoglyceride acid, known as PGA. Meanwhile, in C4 plants, the first stable compound is the 4-carbon molecule called oxaloacetate. Here are some examples of C3 and C4 plants. Sugarcane and maize, or also known as corn, are examples of C4 plants. 
while rice and sunflower are examples of C3 plants. We have come to an end of the video. Thanks for watching.